In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to bring text on the screen in the lower third and match it with the movement of a color board. This comes as a result of a question from a subscriber. Before I show you how to do that, let's show you a short clip where we give you an example of this technique. Step number one is to go to the media content above the media room, click on the down arrow and choose color boards. Then you select a color board of your preference, I'll take an orange one here, and drag it down to a higher numbered track. I'm going to change the duration of this by clicking on the number and typing in 10 for 10 seconds. Now I have a 10 second long color board, but I have to change the shape of it, so I'm going to double click on it. That will move me into my PIP designer. I want to turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio, and then we'll make it shorter. I also want to uh, turn on my grid lines. We can't see that on this screen, but you'll be able to see it on your copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to take an 8 by 8 and that will give me a way to know exactly where things will snap to. And then we'll shorten it so it doesn't cover quite all the screen. And here I have a color board. Now this is what I want it to look like when it's finally on the screen. Let's say we'll take two seconds for it to get there. So then I want to do some keyframing of the color board. I'll take my time indicator, move it into the program two seconds. And at two seconds I want it to be at this precise location so I click the diamond on the position scale of keyframing and at two seconds the color board is here. Next thing I do is move my time indicator to the beginning of the clip and I'm noticing here that if I look at my position my Y position is 0 0.813. I'm going to drag this to the right and I make sure when I've done that that this should number should be 813 so I will tweak it to make sure it's that number so it will be perfectly horizontal and so when I stop this and click the play we'll see our color board come in and it stops right there now we're going to do something similar at 8 seconds we have a 10 second clip, so I'll go in about 8 seconds. I could pick any number I wanted in time. And now I'm going to click on, right click on, and say duplicate previous keyframe. So the color board will be stable uh, between second number 2 and second number 8. And then we'll set one more at the very end. And at the very end, we'll do what we did before. We'll drag it to the right off screen. Make sure we still have the same coordinates up here, Y coordinates. And we'll click the diamond on the position scale. And so this will cause the color board to come in, freeze, and then move off. So we've done the first part of our project. The next thing I want to do is go into my title room and click on the title and drag that on the track higher than the color board. It can be three or four. And now we're going to move our title. I'll double click on it. And that will get me into my title designer. We're going to change the size of this. Maybe to a 22 bold. It may have to be a little bit smaller given the width of my color board, the height of my color board. Let's try 20. And I want to move my playhead in so I see where the, where the color board is. And I'm going to take the My Title, drag it down, and put it right at the edge of my color board. I'm going to modify the font face. Let's give it an outline. Click on the border control. And we'll pick a black border, something simple. And we'll make it a 2 
so it stands out. Now, I don't want the title at the very end of the color board. I could move it back by just moving the icon, but in this case, uh, to make the timing easier, I'm just going to put spaces in front of it to move it as far in as I want. And so maybe I want the title to be near the end, but not quite. Now we're going to keyframe this using the same numbers. When we're in two seconds, I'll move my time indicator into two seconds. I want it to be in this location, so I click the position diamond like I did on the color board. Now I'll go over to eight seconds. And I'll right click and I'll do duplicate previous keyframe so it's stable here. Now we have to do the beginning and the end. And in the beginning, we'll go to the, the start. And we will drag this horizontally to the right off the screen. And it sets a keyframe at the beginning. We'll go to the end at 10 seconds in. And we'll make it retreat the same way. and the title is off the screen. Now we'll click on OK. Let's play this and see what it looks like when we click on movie mode. The title comes in with the same pace as the color board, stays on the screen, and then at eight seconds the title goes off. Oop, I goofed up on the color board. Let's see what we did wrong there. Let's move to um, this diamond and this diamond. Oh, we have to add one at the end. Okay, we'll move to the end. Now we'll add a position keyframe. We move it off. There it's set. Okay, now we play. And there we go. That's as simple as it is to make text and a color board come in as a lower third using only these tools in CyberLink PowerDirector.